With an increasingly aging population and a growing disabled community that includes veterans from wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, AOTA believes more must be done to bolster rehab science at the federal level. Investing in rehab research is essential to improving our nation's overall wellness and function. It's also key to some of the important themes that are being discussed by policymakers on Capitol Hill, including promoting independence at home and in the community, uh, reducing acute readmissions, and preventing more costly health episodes generally across our health care system. As Congress and, federal, and the federal government continue to seek ways to reduce health care costs and improve quality of care, rehab science must be embraced and supported as part of the solution. One of the ways that the federal government is supporting rehab research is at the National Institutes of Health. Um, currently, they conduct and support approximately $300 million in, in research uh, in this area annually. $70 million of this is supported by the National Center for Medical Rehab Re Research, uh, or NCMRR. Uh, we have, OTs have a number of, um, of uh, research grantees there, and um, it's important for us to advocate uh, for this center. And so we really set our sights on improving the stature of this center, um, and our mission became much clearer uh, when in December of uh, 2012 when a Blue Ribbon panel report uh, was was published. Now this report uh, was the product of uh, a number of experts in re rehab science uh, getting together um, convened by the, the director of NIH. Um, they put together a, a, a report, a thorough report of uh, findings that included uh, improvements that could be made by NIH, NIH themselves, um, and also a number of improvements that would take congressional action uh, to accomplish. Uh, ultimately, the report found that, that rehab research at NIH was, was not thriving, and so we really set our sights on finding some ways to improve uh, the, the center's lot. Ultimately, a number of the recommendations uh, that were provided in this uh, report, the Blue Ribbon uh, Panel Report, uh, gave way to the bill that you'll be advocating for on Capitol Hill, the Enhancing the Stature and Visibility of Medical Rehab Research at NIH Act, S-800 in the Senate and H.R. 1631 in the House. Ultimately, uh, that would the, the goal of the legislation is to enhance rehab science at NIH without increasing spending uh, and without diverting support for other important NIH priorities. Uh, this is really uh, a matter of finding kind of the political middle ground where we're not spending uh, more money or taking away resources from other important priorities um, on Capitol Hill. Uh, that's, uh, that's an important needle to thread. Um, so. This legislation was championed initially by Senator Kirk in the 113th Congress uh, on his own, and, um, and, out, and then eventually in this Congress we have refined our ask and refined our legislation, and we found, uh, we found sponsors in both the Senate and the House. Senator Kirk is again heading up our legislation. He's a, a stroke survivor and uh, serves as a, a great advocate and an inspirational one um, Senator Michael Bennett of Colorado, a Democrat from Colorado, is his counterpart in the Senate that is um, that's that introduced this legislation. And then in the House, we have uh, Congressman Greg Harper from a Republican from Mississippi, and Jim Langevin, a Democrat from Rhode Island. Um, they are both uh, together co-chairs of the Disability Caucus and bring uh, additional uh, credentials to this important issue. Um, ultimately, with this bill, we are seeking to enhance the coordination of rehab research across NIH. Uh, we're updating research priorities and forcing or requiring um, the National Center for Medical Rehab Research to update their um, research plan 
um, periodically or at minimum every five years. And this is an important step. Uh, the, the last rehab research plan um, was done 20 years ago, uh, more than 20 years ago. And uh, that really, uh, that, that leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, quite a bit of time has passed. Uh, innovations have come and, come and gone. And it's important that we force uh, NIH to kind of revisit these important developments um, in the rehab research world. And so uh, this would require that um, not only they revisit and update the plan, but also that they provide a, a progress report yearly on how their funding and how their grants are matching up with that research plan. And then finally, um, it would it would take a look at the other, it would force NIH to take a look at the other recommendations um, put forward by the Blue Ribbon Panel and, um, and decide how, um, how those could be implemented, whether they are feasible to do so, and, um, or, or if, uh, if they can be done by the agency themselves, or if those two would take an act of Congress. Um, so these are some important steps we think will, will, will really bolster the center, um, both uh, what comes out of the center and, and how it interacts with the rest of NIH and the other agencies. Um, so this is, these are important uh, things to emphasize when you go up on Capitol Hill to talk about the bill. Um, it's a bipartisan bill. It does not cost any additional funds. And, um, you know, if, if there's an opportunity to make it personal or if you are um, studying at one of the premier um, research institutions, um, please be sure to highlight that um, and, and give them a sense of, of, of what OT does uh, to make people's lives better uh, day to day. Thank you.